What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about favoriting plays, why you should favorite plays, and how to do so within Madden 23. This video can be useful for pretty much any game mode within Madden 23 and prior Maddens as well. This method is going to allow you to have a list of your favorite plays that you can easily access within franchise mode, ultimate team, head to head, any mode that you're playing within the game in order to call the plays that you really want to call whenever you want to call them. It's nice to have this capability because you can kind of bypass scrolling through formations or your game planning plays or scrolling through coach suggestions. You can simply go to the plays that you want to access when you want to access them. You can do this from any game mode. You can do it while you're in the game. But what I'm going to show you today is just hopping into practice mode and doing it from practice mode so that you can utilize these plays very quickly and easily and not have to do it while you're trying to focus on playing a game and trying to win a game. Instead, you can take five minutes to go into a playbook, find the plays that you want, and set this up the way that you need it to be. So like I said, for the purposes of this video, we're hopping quickly into practice mode, and all I'm going to do, you can do this from coaching suggestions, formation, concept, play type, you can literally do it from anywhere in the playbook. You can go to the plays that you like the most and double click on those plays in order to favorite them. So for example here, Flood Drive is one of, if not the best plays within the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click triangle on Flood Drive and you'll now notice that a little heart symbol of it's very small, very hard to notice, popped up in the top right of the Flood Drive play art there, right next to Deontay Johnson. That is going to signify that you have favorited that play, and you will now then be able to access a list of your favorite plays whenever you're play calling. So when I go back out here to where it says formations, concepts, all that stuff, you'll notice that there's a tab for favorites. And you can see that I have two plays favorited within this playbook. And this can be edited, like I said, on the fly. So you can go through and find whatever plays you like the best. The other plays that I like out of this playbook, PA X burst cross, that's one of the best plays in this playbook. Tight end drive is really good out of this wing pair formation. Tight end attack can be very good. And it's really honestly that simple. That's all you have to do. Now I can go over to my favorites and quickly access all of the best plays from this playbook without having to sort by personnel or sorting by play type, sorting by concept, sorting by formation, or going through coach suggestions. Instead, like I've said already probably 10 times in this video, you can access what you want, when you want, on demand, and it is the quickest and easiest way to find those plays that you like. Now, again, you have to be using a playbook that you are favoriting those plays in. So if I went to a playbook that I haven't used, I would have to favorite a new list of plays. But when I go to use the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook across any game mode, it's now going to list off these favorited plays that I really like within the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. And what are some other plays that are really good out of this playbook? Well, I've mentioned how halfback sting out of the goal line normal formation is really good. And they have other really good plays, some plays out of pistol, PA cross, for example. They have the Steelers cross play, which they've been known for for years as a really good play. And again, very quickly going over to favorites, those plays are now going to pop up. They will pop up basically in reverse order of how you favorited them. So if I favorited PA Wiggle first, it's going to be all the way at the bottom. You can see of eight favorited plays, the first two that I showed you guys are now at the bottom, and the latest ones that I favorited are at the top. So you can kind of, if you really want to get detailed with it, order it so that you select your maybe least favorite of your favorite plays first, and then favorite your best plays last. So if I were doing this personally, I would favorite Flood Drive and PA Experts Cross last so that they always pop up at the top of this list. But again, you can access these plays just like you do with anything else, either scroll down or scroll up to get to the bottom. Either way, it's super easy to navigate and a tip that I think you guys should definitely know and utilize and not something that in my opinion, a lot of people do actually utilize these days. So I just want to show you that it does work in other game modes. I'm going to back out of here and just go to a play now game with the Steelers and show you that the same list of favorite plays is going to pop up for me. 
All right, so we're now loading up a Pittsburgh Steelers just head-to-head -head game against the Baltimore Ravens. Let's go ahead and sim forward till we're on offense, so we can just hop right in and take a look at those favorited plays. Just like I mentioned, though, now we're on offense. I could go all the way over to favorites, and again, you'll see exactly the same plays that I just favorited within practice mode. The same thing holds true for franchise and other game modes. So again, just know that this is a capability that you can utilize. And whenever those plays do pop up in your coach's suggestions and things like that, it will pop up with that little heart up next to them just the same. So, I hope that this video helped you guys out in some way. As always, if it did, leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. I hope that you guys will do that, because there's a lot of you that do watch these videos that have not subscribed yet, and I do think you should subscribe so that you're basically notified anytime I get a new video. In fact, hit that bell notification button, something I forget to say a lot of the time. Nonetheless, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video or found it useful, and if you did, leave a like down below. All that feedback is greatly appreciated, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a good one.